Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. So GTA 5 Next Gen is officially out. We got the Next Gen upgrade and we're just going to casually take a look at some of the features and stuff while my phone in the game just completely goes off. But we're in Michael's house and I can tell right away there is a significant amount of change when it comes to some of the finer details, especially like the lighting effects. Uh, the game also doesn't look as blocky, like the characters look more round that makes sense like you could just tell like when looking at the back of michael he doesn't look as last gen as he was starting to look i i mean gta 5 on the playstation 4 was starting to look really kind of uh outdated but also just moving the camera around you can see how smooth everything just seems to look with with the uh with the frame rate that it currently has uh and then the lighting effects like you can tell the lighting and the rooms and stuff just look a little bit more uh, realistic, I would say. And it's this atmosphere type of uh, things that Next Gen does that, that you really don't really notice until you sit down and take the time to appreciate. It's kind of hard to explain, honestly. Uh, I know some people are like, oh, who cares about ray tracing? Who cares? <laughs> oh, blah, blah, blah. They want a huge, significant upgrade. Well... From my naked eye, I could tell you guys, there is quite a bit of notice of difference of, of the of the look. And I think, honestly, the majority of it is because, let me turn the music off, the frame rate. The frame rate definitely gives it um, a fresher feel. It feels a lot more smooth than what it did the last time. Now, I'll say in, in the way of DualSense, because I am playing this on the PlayStation 5, I haven't played the Xbox version. Um, as far as DualSense features go, I will say when you're driving, you could definitely feel the road, I guess. Like, it's it's realistic in the extent, like, you know, when you're driving on a road in your own car, you could just feel how the, the pavement feels. Well, it rumbles just enough to simulate tires going over pavement or bumps um, or when you brake. Uh, now, I haven't really noticed when you use your weapons any kind of like trigger feedback. Like some games, they kind of give you a little bit of resistance when you when you shoot or when, when you like aim at something. Um, it's not like the way Call of Duty would do it or uh, other similar games like that. There's very little. Um, I, I'm not going to lie. I do wish it was a little bit more. Um, there is a lot of stuff with the speaker, uh, like I noticed when you come close to nightclubs, actually, you can kind of hear like the nightclub music playing on the speaker, um, like very, like a muffled bass. Um, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. Now there are a couple of graphics modes. I'm not super high techy, so I'm kind of just winging it when I guess explaining what kind of new features, cause I know everybody's going to want to know if it's worth the upgrade, if, if, if next gen provides enough of a substantial upgrade. Uh, I will definitely say in the way of uh, graphics, I think it's a nice look. A lot of people compare it to PC settings finally being on console, which I guess that's fair. Um, and I'm no longer wanted so let's go to the settings um and i'll show you guys what we have as far as um graphics modes go so i'm playing a performance rt and i believe this is native 4k with 60 frames per second with some ray tracing now don't quote me on that in fact i'm going to take a look and just double check so <laughs> performance rt is a hybrid of the two of performance mode which is 60 frames per second with upscaled 4k and then series s is 1080p at 60 fps and both ps5 and series x have performance rt which is a hybrid of the two it targets 60 frames per second with upscaled 4k and ray tracing so that's what i currently have on it right now and then of course there's fidelity mode which is 4k native resolution with ray tracing and 30 frames per second. So performance RT targets 60 frames per second. 
and has um, upscaled 4K and ray tracing. Now, on top of that, like I mentioned, um, there are bumps in the frame rate. Like you can definitely tell just taking a look uh, just by the character, like the way they walk. Um, even in first person first person mode, you especially can tell when kind of turning. It's much of, of a faster, smoother feel. The uh, camera doesn't seem to have a gritty feel. Like I remember when you go really fast on GTA on the PlayStation 4, it kind of gets a little choppy. Um, that doesn't really happen that much. There's also a higher population uh, traffic variety. You can see it's almost like it's more alive. Um, I guess improved lighting for sure. Like you can see with that. Now they do claim that the water effects and stuff like that are better, which I really haven't taken a look at the water effects. Um, but overall, I am pretty impressed with the upgrades. On PlayStation 5, it is $9.99 to upgrade. Uh, and then, of course, you get GTA Online standalone for the first three months free with PlayStation Plus. I believe on Xbox, it's a much more substantial price, $24.99 for the upgrade. Um, and I think $9.99 for standalone online. It's kind of confusing but the way they priced it, to be uh, completely honest. Now, I'm a big fan of GTA. I know a lot of people are kind of sick and tired of being sick and tired when it comes to um, GTA. You can see some nice reflection right there in the water. See the Ferris wheel and the lights. I don't think they did, did it that great on, on last gen. So little details like that definitely go a long way when it comes to... Uh, making the game, I guess, its presentation a little bit more. So this is story mode. Now you are able to migrate your save through the Rockstar Social Club and it was really easy. On my PS4, I went to uh, game, then you could see like an upload save data. And then when you get onto your um, next gen console, your PS5 or your Xbox, it'll give you a choice to migrate your data over. And that includes your online character which we'll, we'll step into the online world real quick so you can see the load times are going to be much 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 more faster than last gen was which is a blessing and a godsend honestly so you'll see right here i remember i used to feel like i was me and my friends used to call in the clouds where we were literally like this above ground you see how like you're looking down on the map like we're in the clouds we would call it in the clouds and it would feel like you're just taking so long but look at that especially on the ps5 it's gonna be much faster than uh the ps4 and to me that that's more than enough of what i fucking needed now of course when i record it feels like it's taking ages but it's still gonna be a lot faster t -t 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 today junior it was doing it decently earlier there we go I was probably going to upload me or uh, spawn me in my uh, my arcade. Yep. Sometimes I swear that certain spawn points make your characters load in a lot slower. So you can see my character still online doesn't seem like it has too many hiccups. Um, especially in the nightclubs. Sometimes the nightclubs or the casino would feel like it was just struggling to perform. I haven't noticed any frame dips when I've played. And the world also seems a little bit more livelier. There's a lot of people right here. At the Full Moon Theater. I've never even noticed. I don't know if there's small changes with some buildings or um, anything like that. Honestly, I've never, I, I don't know if they've made some changes with, with buildings or with certain things like that. I'm sure as people, more people play through story mode and online will notice. Um, but you can definitely see the nightlife is as booming and as awesome looking as ever. Uh, that F, that, that frames, look at that smooth silkiness of it, honestly. Uh, but just to show you guys, because I remember 
when I was playing um, last on the PS4, the casino always kind of had like a weird choppy feel when you're loading into it. And it, it runs a lot smoother. Coming in, and it loads a lot faster. So check this out. So load times is a big part. I know some people would want faster. <laughs> but you can see like that. That was a lot faster than last time. And you can see it doesn't look... It looks much cleaner. Like I swear to God, if you look on the PS4, this area just looks really choppy and really slow. And it just doesn't look as vibrant. Like look, we can see the chandelier reflections. I know to you guys... I know some to the average, I guess, naked eye, you don't really notice that, but you could definitely tell a stark difference with that. Now, if I was to complain about some things with um, this update, this guy looks super down on his luck. <laughs> Anyways, now if I was to talk about what I don't like from this, honestly, um, I wish there would have been some new properties, maybe some new missions. I know that they have, um, I think it's house, uh, motorsport garage works, whatever. And they just added the Dr. Dre stuff not too long ago, but I, I want some more heist and I know they probably are going to drip feed some more heist. Um, there are five new vehicles in the store that are, uh, distributed throughout all the different things. Um, there's even PS5 exclusive cars right here. So, like, you can flex that you have a PS5 exclusive car, but they're a little bit more um, higher in price. Um, and I think there's five new vehicles in total. But I, I, I'm not sure if they carry over into single player now. Like, some of these new vehicles and weapons and stuff. Uh, regardless, uh, I still think that... 10 bucks to upgrade on the ps5 is as well worth it at the end of the day um i guess we could always oh somebody's targeting me get this asshole he fucked with the wrong person fucking dickhead i was minding my own business making a freaking YouTube video and a dickwad had to do it. <laughs> That's what you get, man. There was absolutely no reason to come after me. Now, I have also noticed the cutscenes look pretty good, which I'm not going to go to the strip club on video on, on, on my channel, but we can go at least down here and check out this Lowriders update. I think this is with Lamar and all that. Oh, there's an action figure. Enter G. Hey, you there? All right. So Lamar, we're here. Lamar ain't letting me visit him. That's cool. <laughs> So anyways, guys, my short thoughts on it. I know you probably would have wanted something a little bit more in depth. This is more like my first impressions after playing on stream for a couple hours. Is that I have noticed a huge improvement enough in the load times and in the graphics. Um, it runs a lot more smoother. I just want them, I, I want them to support this. Especially if they're asking people to buy it again. I really want us to have um, some new experiences as far as um as far as i was trying to mute that so i don't get freaking <laughs> booted but as far as like new heist new missions i would have liked a new area in the game kind of like what they did with the kayo perico heist or whatever that was i would have i would have welcomed that i know a lot of people want them to add on uh north yankton and and things like that um was i expecting more yes <laughs> I'm not gonna lie in way of, of locations 
more properties, but it's GTA Online. They're going to drip feed it. They're going to milk it. It will come eventually. 10 bucks is not that bad of an asking price. In my opinion. So, I guess we can deal with it as far as this mission says. And uh, we'll see. We'll go to the drug deal. Let's do one mission. It's always so weird playing with other players. Come on. Get in. He's like pointing his gun at me and shit. I'm trying to tell him to get in. I always use my Karuma. That's Karuma, right? The bulletproof car. I could have taken my Mark. Or maybe I took this guy's Karuma and that's why he was honking. He was uh, pointing his gun at me. See, but now I could feel... I can feel the road. Like, it feels like you're driving on a pavement in your hands. See, like, even right there where the where the bridge kind of had, like, that grate, <laughs> it, it changed the way that the vibration feels. So that, as far as DualSense features goes, I, I also would have liked a little bit more on that. Maybe they'll add some more. Um, you know, like, maybe... They'll, they'll, they'll make the features a little bit more advanced. But it's not like uh, how Sackboy or, you know, other games like that have done in the past. Oh my gosh, I just jumped right the fuck out. Oh, and I just died. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to end it there. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoyed GTA. Let me know if you want some streams of this. I'll see you on the next one.